Hey guys, it's Ren. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be video number three of the comeback series. Now, originally I'd told everybody that I was going to be releasing a video each and every day or each and every other day. But unfortunately, due to some error in uploading some of the videos that I had made on my computer, not really quite sure what happened, I wasn't able to extract them from my camera. So I ended up having a little bit of an issue with that, having to reshoot all the videos. I do apologize for the delay. And I'm going to get right back into it. I have a lot of stuff to take care of and a lot of videos to still make. Having to redo them all is quite a hassle. I'm a little bit annoying, but hey, I enjoy it, so hopefully you enjoy it too. We're going to jump right into this one, not waste any time. For video number three, this is going to be the Comicet unboxing from Comicet 95, or Comic Market 95, which was last December. There's two a year, one in August, one in December, as many of you are aware. I'm not going to go into all the details about Comic Market, but if you have any questions about how it works, there are many other users and subscribers on my channel that know about it, as well as myself, so feel free to ask any questions. This year was another proxy shopping year, so I ended up buying all my items on an actual Yahoo Auction website with a proxy and having all the items shipped here. It's a lot more expensive overall, but I saved my money throughout the year to pay for this event to support all my favorite circle artists. So, why don't we jump into it? I'm going to start with my first circle artist, which is going to be Milk Bar or Hina Shirogane. And before we do get into that, though, I do want to make you aware I'm going to be putting down the camera occasionally, which you'll see blackness while I'm talking. Mainly this is due to the fact that there is n partial nudity that I have to cover up in some of these merchandise. Uh, as with that being said, uh, if you're not into the not safe for work stuff, this video will have it. So feel free to skim over it or watch it. I do my best to cover up some of the stuff, but that's why I put the camera down to make sure I'm trying to cover it all up. Anyways, the thing in front of you is not from Comic Market. This is just one of my Mashiro blankets I own from Alcana. And uh, I just decided to use this sort of a place filler. So anyways, I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to put some merchandise out. Some merchandise out, I'm sorry, and let's get started. Now you'll see blackness on the camera while I'm doing this, so I do apologize. You'll hear some shuffling around as I'm getting some of the merchandise ready, because there's a lot of it. And I'm going to kind of go through each and every one, one at a time. Some of the merchandise will be not safe for work, but we'll make sure to skim through anything before we do go into that. And then I'll kind of go through each and every item one at a time here. So, hopefully you guys are all doing well. It's been a while since uh, I've chatted with you, since the last video last week. And I haven't really actually even chatted to anyone. I've just kind of sort of <laughs> done what it is. Um... And what I've used here are some um, envelopes or like little pieces of paper to cover up some of the nudity so it's not showcased. Um, I'll also show the safer work sides in some of the dockies. Uh, some of the dockies do not have safer work sides. They're both more not safe for work. Some of the sides of some of these artists is just lewd, so it's not as bad. Apologies if my... Uh, skills at laying out things are not perfect either. Okay, almost done with this merchandise. There's a lot that I got in Shirogane's kit. Or Milk Bar's kit. Okay. I'll show the blanket last because I can't really fit it out here. Alright, so let's start with the actual showcase of the items. So here is all of Milk Bar's merchandise that I ended up purchasing. Some of it's been unboxed. Uh, I'm going to go through each and every one touch a little base on it and we'll see what it's like. So starting in the left corner here, we have the actual bag. Now this is a solid, um, actual, uh, I don't know really what material that is, I guess felt, polyester, whatever it is, um, bag that uh, you can actually keep. They don't have the little cheap pla uh, paper bags. Uh, Hino Shirogami, 2018, it was on 1230, and uh, Milk Bar. Many of you have seen this artist, I'm a very big fan of her. I like her art and uh, the bag this year was a little bit smaller, but um, Mitsu's bag, or Honey Girl's bag, was a lot bigger. And so you'll get a chance to see that and how it was much larger. So just a bag to start. And as I'm going through this, I will also put the merchandise down as well. And we'll just kind of move up. Here is uh, her 2019 calendar. Um, I haven't unboxed any of this yet, but what it is is there are little cards you slip in with all the days of the week. And it has the um, actual image that you hang up on the back side 
um, you have all the additional months cards that you can fit in. So we're already halfway into 2019. I mainly just get these items because it comes with the actual circle kit itself. A little bagging buy for about 5,000 yen, 3,000 yen. Uh, but uh, I do like to collect your art and um, I just collect the merchandise, but I don't really do much with it. Moving along, we have two keychains that came with this bag. Um, now these are apparently original characters. We have uh, Suzanne and uh, or, yeah, and uh, Karen. Now obviously they look like Hibiki because she does draw a lot of Hibiki art, but I guess it's her original character. Um, but then again, you also have Hibiki up there because that's Destroyer Division 6. So I think these are supposed to be original characters, but I don't actually quite know. They all look the same, but whatever, they're cute. Um, I kept the little keychains on this little thing, but um, these plastic keychains with little charms that they have on them. Um, and I might just actually hang that like so. I like the little thing that came with it. Um, here we have, I'm not really sure what these are. I think these are just like um, paper like objects. I don't really know what they're supposed to be. Walls, mini wall scrolls. They're like hard paper. It looks like they're dual sided. I don't really know what it's supposed to be, to be honest. Um, but yeah. This is my favorite character. I like these kind of characters that look like Hibiki and Chino. Favorite of all. Uh, the Karen type characters, I don't, I don't really like that look. I'm much more of a fan of the bluish type hair and the blue eyes. So, what ifs? What else we got? All right, so this is a not safe for work doujinshi. Uh, obviously, there's uh, tits on this, so I'm not going to show that. Um, this one is just a Destroyer Division 6. Um, let's take a look. Um, I think all this work is... Uh, let me just put this down here for a sec because I do want to make sure there is only safer work material in here. And it looks like, yes, it's just past artwork from previous comic kits. Okay, so this is a safer work one. Let me take a look at the not safer work one. Okay, that's just straight not safe work. So I'm not going to show the not safe for work merchandise, obviously, for very good reasons, but there was a doge that came with that um scrolling back up here with this book though this is fine we can showcase this so we have some of her um old art with a little preface at the top there more merchandise of uh, viernay um this is a sheet shirt i have i'm sure you've seen that shirt boo and we got more stuff here some of this art i haven't seen uh more preface stuff Yuki, Akatsuchi, Inazuma. There's a little cute Yuri comic, comic, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty Yuri, dude. Okay, yeah, it's pretty Yuri. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Cool. Postscripts. Whatever. So, a little book for that as well. And then, uh, this was cool. This is the first time I've seen this. It's a kind of a life-size, uh, Plastic little piece. It says, uh, happy wedding. Um, it's of, uh, your name or sheer, he, 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 whatever. And, uh, it's like a little plastic stand you can hang up. So that's kind of cool. And then we have the docky. I'm not going to show the not safe for work side, um, of that one. And yeah, then there's one more item as well. I'm going to showcase, which is a, um, what's it called? What's that, uh, small Japanese thing that people like put their feet under and it keeps them warm during the winter. I think this is a blanket for that specifically, um, but because it's like a rounded blanket, or it's basically like a table blanket, but I'm pretty sure it's used for that thing specifically, and uh, yeah, I don't have one of those, so it doesn't really do me any good, but it is a comfy blanket. Um, it's very large for a rounded blanket. Um, yeah, it's like full size, so it's got all the four girls on there, and it's like a circular kind of comfy material. Anyways, I'm going to put that down, and that is all of Milk Bar's um, merchandise this time around. I really need to make a Twitter account and tweet or hashtag my artists and see if they respond, even though they probably don't speak English, uh, because that'd be cool. Uh, let's go to the next kit, which is, uh, how about Syro? Yeah, let's do Syro. So Cyro has a lot of titty, so I need to cover that up because, uh, yeah, I can't show that on camera. So, 
some of the images i'm sorry you won't be able to see the full one this year was very big on his cat girls um so that's kind of cool i guess let's see what do we got here we got a wall scroll we got some artwork i believe both his dojinshi are not safe for work yeah all his line sketches are not safe for work yeah that's all not safe for work Oh, that's extremely not safe for work. <laughs> All right, that's the yeah, I can't show that. <laughs> um, we'll just showcase the two books. Uh, there's a bag and a wall scroll as well, which we'll cover up. Oh, why did I do that? Not very smart. Hold on, guys. And can badge. What else came in this one? Oh, yeah, the duck. Okay, so we'll showcase one side of the ducky uh, because it's too much of a hassle to do the both. Both of the sides are full on uh, not safe for work. We'll showcase the um, smiling side. I don't know. We'll just showcase this side. I just chose a random side, so you're stuck with it. Too bad. Okay, and I need two more things with that. One moment, guys. Appreciate the patience. All right. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Let's look at Cyro's merchandise. Okay, starting here, we have the full collection. Um, don't worry, that's technically covered up. It's just some areola slip, which whatever. I'm not going to really deal with that. Anyways, uh, here is the wall scroll um, of Cyro. It's just a mini wall scroll that it came with. Uh, we have this little like weird felt-like blanket. Not quite sure on that one. Docky in the back there. Uh, we have the bag that it came with this here. This can badge, the big can badge. We have uh, the shichiki, which you can sign. Um, and then two doujinshi. Oh, and there's one other item as well that I didn't mention. There is a keychain with that. Right there. So, keychain as well. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just quick merchandise out of that one. And uh, yeah, came with a lot of items. Obviously, the dockies are the most expensive half the time, so you, know, you do it. All right, let's move up that one. Kind of knocking these out a little bit quicker. What I'm more curious about is I need to find a place to put all of this. actually have an idea hmm, okay well I'm just thinking to myself sorry the doujinshi's are mainly just they're not even doujinshi's they're just artwork I apologize I misspoke on that one for Cyro um, so yeah so far we have two dockies this year only got three this year actually not a lot uh, let's see. You know what? Let's knock off Mills Bar because Mills Bar's got a lot of. Not Mills Bar. Um, Mamu, my favorite circle artist of all time. Uh, we'll showcase that. We'll showcase that. We'll showcase that. I think this is fine. There's nothing not safe for working here, or at least it's covered up. Yeah, it's covered up. This one is it uh, not safe for work? Yeah, this one's not safe for work. Well, can't really show this, but that's okay. No big deal. I got the bigger bag, that, and the not cool blanket, and the cool docky. All right. This is the last big set, and then there's just two small items after this. So we're pretty much almost done here. Thanks for your patience, guys. Oh, funny story. You're going to see a, um, uh, a, uh, what's it called, a hoodie in this one, and the hoodie smelled like, God, I don't know what it was, it smelled like kerosene, <laughs> which, don't ask me why I know what this, that smells like, but uh, it smelled like kerosene, and I was like, man, this smells really bad, and then I washed it, and it smelled fine, but I was like, why does this, it smelled like, not kerosene, but it smelled like ink of some type, and it was really actually kind of gross, so I'm glad I washed that. Anywho... Shiragani, um, or not Shiragani, I keep mixing them up. This is uh, Milk Bar. So we got the Daki in back, so the magical girl Chino. 
I'm not going to show you the back. Not safe for work. Uh, this one's a transparent calendar. It's kind of cool. Um, obviously, the lighting is going to make this very hard to see, but it is a transparent calendar and it has all the months on there at the bottom here. And you can, it's like a dry erase, I think. Uh, it came with a little sticker and came with another planner book, which is like styrofoam plastic. Or, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, schedule book. And that comes with a calendar as well as like a little memo notepad. So that's kind of cool. Little images in it. Uh, no one ever uses those anymore, by the way. <laughs> um, here's the Dojinchi. Rated 18. Can't look at that. Um, here's the bigger version of the bag. Kind of cool, huh? Um, this art. And then on the back, Honey Girl, which is Mitsumo Memo. I like the designs of that. Uh, here's the hoodie. Just a regular large hoodie with an imprint on the back. Not, not that impressive. Um, and then one of those circular blankets again. A lot of people did these this year. I don't know why. Probably because it's winter and they were like, go warm yourself up with anime, dude. All right, uh, last thing I'll show here is the extra stage. Actually, this goes left to right. Uh, here is the docky. It showcases all the merchandise. So you can see the image now that it's covered up. A lot easier than having to flip it. Um, let's see. This is the hoodie. The planner book. Sticker. Uh, the blanket. I like that she did this because it makes it easier. The bag. And then, yeah, just some, oh, one more page, uh, the calendar as well. So, yeah, that is everything from Mitsu. So we have two more small items here as well. I'm just going to keep Mitsu stuff up here because it just makes this a lot easier. I'll deal with a little bit later. All right, last two items here. I ordered one weird, I guess it's supposed to be a blanket, but I'm not... It's like really, so like the underside is comfy, but the other side, like the top half is like almost hard plastic. I don't really know. It's really weird to describe. So this is a Prisma Ilia blanket, I guess you could say. There's a lot of covering up that needs to be done on this one because this is from, uh, oh, what was this group from? I can't remember who did this. I'm really sorry. I do not remember who did this. I apologize. Um, we're just going to cover up a lot of this so <laughs> very sorry about that i don't have any more no i need more all right um i'm gonna use chino's book congratulations okay so this is the prisma Ilia blanket it's pretty large so this is a handprint for comparison um obviously i had to cover up like a lot of it because i didn't think this was this not safe for work and it was very not safe for work so I don't really know what I'd ever do with this. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was just a couple images. Like it showed the, the front half, but it didn't show like any of the other stuff. And this is not safe for work stuff. So that's a little, this one's a little more on something I'm not okay with. So I'm actually trying to see if I can sell it because it's a little bit much for my taste in terms of the um, not safe for work material. So yeah, didn't really expect that one, but uh, definitely thought it was something a little less, a little less extreme. But hey, you know what? Whatever. If anyone wants to buy that, let me know. Hit me up. I'll I'll sell it to you. It costs a lot of money though, so don't don't expect it cheap. And last and final item, one of my favorite items actually, is a one last hoodie from Essentia. Essentia is the guy that does the. Um, oh, I forgot what anime it was. Uh, uh, Nana Nana Halirka. Um, that one, Fujiyama Takia or whatever. I don't remember the guy's name. Um, this is a hoodie. It is extremely comfortable. I like all the designs on this one. Um, it's got Essentia's logo on the side there. Uh, just the hoodie I got. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. So there's like a bunch of little designs on it and whatnot that you can hold. So anyways, guys, it's about a 20-minute video. Get that one uploaded for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in for another video right after this one tomorrow, and we'll get that uploaded as well. Um, so this one's going to be uploaded for tomorrow morning because I uploaded the night before and then the night after that. So thanks guys for watching. Catch you in the next video. Peace out.